Hello there everyone, this is Brian with BSintech.com. Today I'm going to bring to you our first video that we've created uh, using uh, our new digital camera. It's a Samsung SL30, so you can judge for yourself if, uh, if this works pretty well or not. Um, today we're going to talk about a uh, rain barrel collection system and uh, or a, a compost tumbler. Uh, recently I've built a, a little system that uh, works pretty well. Um, I can't test it yet since it is in the winter time and I don't want anything to freeze of course. But uh, I got, uh, got this idea after looking at some other YouTube videos and saw that some people were cutting the tops off of uh, 55 gallon drums and I thought there probably would be a better way of doing this. So uh, I started on this project and then I saw a, uh, another fellow by uh, Mr. Native Texan that uh, actually had a very similar system to what I was going to set up. He set his up a little differently than what I did and uh, so I'm just going to outline some of those differences that uh, we have here. Alright, so here you can see the whole system. Uh, right now it only has two rain barrels at the top but you can see there's uh, about four feet of extra space that I can use to add two more rain barrels. Um, I've got a, a person at work that uh, has helped me get some of these rain barrels and um, I'm picking them up for free so that's that's a good thing and uh, it's pretty easy to set up but the system that is made of six 4x4 four four posts and across the top there are two inch by eight inch boards if you uh, consider that there's going to be about 220 gallons of water in this whole system when it's said and done it's going to be about 1900 pounds of weight that's quite a lot so you really need something that's going to support that now since it is out here in this adverse environment all the time between the freezing and the hot temperatures you really need to have treated lumber when you make this system now up here you can see that the uh, posts are all held in together with some uh, some lug nuts here or uh, not some lug nuts but some screws now these are about six inches long and they're about half inch wide I had to actually drill all these holes first um, you can see that I've pretty much got them on all sides and they are sticking out a little bit and the reason for that is because when you buy four by four or two by eights it's not exactly going to be four inches wide or two inches wide it's going to be more about three and a half so you can see over here that I've drilled the holes and you can see how the uh, the screws are coming out almost from them already. Well, let's uh, let's take a look at the composter first. I built this a couple weeks ago, and uh, it's just made of a 55-gallon drum. And over here on one side, you can see that I've got this uh, galvanized steel pipe and uh, a hole going into the barrel. And then it's the same way on the other side. On the other side, I've got the same thing. I've got a steel pipe and then the hole. That's about a one inch steel pipe, so it, uh, it holds pretty good. And then after I drilled those holes, I just basically cut this little opening. And then you can see some hinges and a little bolt latcher down here. So you can just easily open up the latcher, lift it up, and you can see some compost in there going now. It's uh, only a couple weeks old, so it's not going to really have too much going on with that. But uh, it was pretty simple to make. It took about an hour or so after I put it all together and then it's just a matter of you know just doing a rotate every now and then and then uh, you probably want to rotate it about uh, once a week or so and you can add more as you go in now let's take a look at the rain barrel system Right now the rain barrel system just has, again, those two 55-gallon drums. And you can see over here on the side that there is a little downspout that I've drilled in the hole. Uh, it's uh, composed of two-inch PVC pipe up there. And then it comes down into a, uh, a downspout, which I put all together. So whenever the uh, spring season comes around, you can see the other downspout coming up right here. And that's going up to the, uh, to the garage. It'll be very easy just to change that over and I'll div start diverting the water right to the top of the rain barrel system. There's actually two downspouts on this garage. It's about a 24 foot by 24 foot garage. I went over to the other downspout and I put uh, some duct tape over it just for now. So that way all the water goes directly into these barrels. 
Now, the first barrel up here, the white one that you can see on the left, that actually has a fairly decent sized hole in the top so that the water coming in from the gutter will go in w without a problem. Um, I will put a screen over this because I don't want to get any leaves or any debris. Even though I have the gutter guards on the gutters, there's still going to be some stuff that will get through. And uh, the irrigation system that I use is made of half inch PVC pipe and there are 1 16th inch holes that I drilled in every 6 inches or every foot depending on the type of uh, crops that I'm putting in the garden. So if I'm putting green beans and I'm putting them every 6 inches, then I would put a hole 1 16th or every 6 inches and it would be 1 16th inch holes or 6 inches apart. Now the, uh, the blue barrel, um, if you figure that when, when the white one starts to fill up, it's also going to start going into the blue barrel as well. Now if you want to get that filled up, you actually need to put an air hole in the top. And I just drilled about a 1 8 inch hole in the top of this barrel so that whenever the water comes into the first white barrel, it will equalize out and it will start to fill up the blue barrel at the same time. Now how does that work? Let me show you here. All the way down here, I'm in between the posts now as you can tell, there is a 2 inch PVC pipe coming out. Now these 55 gallon drums, they have two 2 inch bung holes at the top. Here you can see the other one and it's got a cap over it. I just basically make sure that this one cap is very secure and tighten it up and then I loosen and take out the other cap. After you loosen and you take out the other cap, then you can just put a male threaded 2 inch PVC connector in there. Then I just put in a 90 degree elbow and connected it up. Now let's go look at the other side so you can get a better view of it. Okay, now over here you can kind of see the same situation. I took out another 2 inch hole up there and put in a male threaded pipe along with a 90 degree elbow. Now this little piece right here, I actually custom made myself. What this is, is it's a male threaded half inch PVC pipe going right into the side of that 90 degree elbow. I had to cut that hole out because there is no real such thing as a 2 inch to 1 half inch PVC converter. And this pipe right here will go directly down into my PVC irrigation system. I have it all unhooked right now, of course, since it's too cold and I don't want it to be collecting any water. And then uh, between the two, you can just see the two inch pipe. So really, when I want to add the other two barrels, it's going to be a matter of you taking out this 90 degree elbow here out of this barrel and replacing that with a T connector. And that T connector will then allow all of them to be connected in series. Well, that takes care of the rain barrel and the uh, compost collection system. Um, it does use very little space. It's about eight foot long and just, just a little more than two feet wide. And it's in a perfect spot because you can see back here all woods. So this is the south side and they're... Uh, the sun can't really penetrate through the leaves of this, this foresty area back here. So it makes a very good area to put the rainwater and collection system.